your mentor and co-host. Today is January 25th. Wow, this month is flying by. It's Tuesday. We're ready to kick off our weekly Power Hitters training. I'm alongside my main man and Rams fan, Jonathan Bernasso. What's up, buddy? How you doing, brother? Let's go, Rams. Good morning. Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for being here. I'm a uh... I'm excited for another great training, another great week, and good, good football on Sunday, right? Yeah, we got a great game coming up. Um, that's going to be one for the ages. NorCal versus SoCal doesn't get much better than that. For the championship, divisional, that's going to be good stuff, man. Looking forward to it. But, hey, moving past that so we don't spend too much time on that, um, we had a birthday yesterday, didn't we? We did have a birthday yesterday. Our CEO, Jonathan Budd's birthday. Right on, man. What what are we talking? 29 years young? I believe he's 38 or 39. I think he's 39 years old as of yesterday. Yeah. Unreal. Unreal. Change the world. Happy birthday, Mr. Budd. Yeah. So let's see how we can do this, everyone. Um, I can break out this recording and get it over to him if you want to take out your phone or record it. But the thought is that we we would sing him happy birthday. You think we can make that happen? Yeah, let's do that. I don't know how Zoom is going to sound with everyone unmuted, but if you'd like to unmute yourself, turn your cameras on, we're going to sing Jonathan Bud happy birthday here. Let's see if this works. Perfect, perfect. Birthday Birthday to to you. You. We got to start on three, guys. All right. Three. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Live instruments and everything. <laughs> that was that, awesome. Happy awesome. birthday. Awesome. That was the glue. Happy birthday. Birthday, birthday. Birthday, birthday. Birthday, 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 your perseverance and dedication to this platform, this community, our environment, our livelihood, your family and everything that you do. Uh, we're truly blessed and honored to be a part of this community and wanna wish you a very, very special happy birthday. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Thank you so much everyone for doing that. We'll make sure he gets that recording babies and guitars and all the rest <laughs> all right all right so jared we have a we want to introduce a special success story i think everyone can take some notes and learn from and you've actually had the pleasure of working a little bit with them right absolutely yeah man uh, my man mike patterson mentor out of florida i uh, can't say enough about this guy what he brings to the table um, his expertise, his knowledge, his perseverance, um, what he does outside of solar, right? He's a firefighter, helping people out, first responder. Um, and how much he does bring to the table as far as knowledge and helping others in, on, the, uh, on the chat, on the platform, answering questions. He's great, man. Beautiful. I want to read this real quick, and then we'll just hear from Brian and um, Michael, who Brian found. But Florida mentor, Mike Patterson. I mean, he's, he's a beast. He sells a ton of batteries. He loves Enphase, which we're going to hear from today. Um, but just in the newsletter, who is nothing less than a full-time special operations firefighter paramedic and also made, and I know not of us, a lot of us like to share this, but he made over $47,000 in one month, ladies and gentlemen. The conditions of his job and experience with natural disasters made Mike look for energy security solutions. He got into solar three years ago, looking to fortify his home with a battery backup system um, for when he's on duty or deployed. 
outages after Hurricane Irma. Thanks to his background in engineering, he started asking interesting questions that led him straight to a battery factory in Vegas. Uh, he began his career. He was approached by a local power rep. At first, he was skeptical. He even turned him down, but quickly had a change of heart and joined barely last July. The recognition earnings Mike is enjoying now has changed his life. Even with a stable job, um, Mike was just making ends meet. The earnings for him has truly been life-changing. It's 100% true. Um, in this case, the opportunity has taken his family living essentially paycheck to paycheck to being financially secure and free. He gets a ton of referrals, lead source by far, word of mouth. Man, I could keep going. There's so much information here. Six months of focused mastering his game. He's ready to grow his organization. Been blessed with a lot of success. And he has, again, battery training, knowledge, backup protection. He's a Sonova expert. Uh, just a super honor to have someone like Mike on the platform. And, you know, more importantly, my brother and I, problems happen, challenges happen. He actually has a customer cussing him out today. But you know what's awesome about Mike? He perseveres. He keeps his head high. Solar always has problems. He stays positive. He stays constructive. He works his ass off and he pushes through. And then he gets to make $47,000 in one freaking month. So Brian, if you're out there, why don't you tell us the one minute story of how you found Mike? And then let's hear from Mike for a minute. So Brian Mouski in Florida found Mike and got him to join Power, right? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, I was driving through my son's future neighborhood. He had a uh, house under contract that he was building and it's a new neighborhood, a lot of new homes. And as I'm driving through the neighborhood, I'm looking around and there's all this solar on all these houses, a whole bunch of houses of solar. And I was like, holy cow, these people already have solar. Wow, that's amazing. So uh, I got out and knocked on a couple of doors. Nobody answered. Finally, somebody answered and I said, hey, I noticed you had solar, blah, blah, blah. Said, you know, just curious how it's going. Did you like your rep and so forth? Oh, yeah, we love him. His name's Mike. He lives right down there in the corner. I'm like, oh, no kidding. So went down to his house, tried to make contact with him. He wasn't home. Met one of his neighbors, Got a gave them my business card, asked them to contact him. That didn't work out. Turns out that his wife cuts my daughter's hair. He didn't know that. And then uh, through her and through another couple of calls, I got in touch with him. He listened to the pitch for power, told me, no, no, I've got this great deal with another company. When he was first working in the neighborhood, he's working for a company we won't talk about. They have a big T for their name. And then uh, he moved to another company with a big V and they were ripping him off and treating him like dog doo-doo. So he uh, calls me back a few days later, I think less than a week and a half after he went to the other company. And he goes, what's the deal with that power thing again? Can we talk about that? <laughs> so I got him on the phone. And I, I'm so thrilled that he came over. He is just a wealth of information. He's a help to me and to everybody on the group. So glad he came on board. Awesome. Awesome work, Brian. I think it's a trend when someone says no the first time and you stay on them and you drip on them and they end up being some of the top performers. Uh, so congratulations to you. Mike, are you out there, brother? I'm here. Howdy, howdy. How's it feel to see your newsletter write up and make that kind of income? How are you feeling? Awesome. I mean, they, they dropped it on me. I knew the income part, obviously, because you see that. But uh, I get the email and say, hey, you made the questions was, how did it feel finding out? I'm like, well, you're the one who told me. I, I didn't even know. Um, so that, that was pretty cool. To get. But um, yeah, so big thanks first to Brian, obviously, for uh, not giving up. Um, you know, it, he could have said initially, so big thanks to him. Big thanks to Jarrett for hopping on that, uh, that video chat way back when was I, I was off at fire training from a hotel room and then, uh, Jonathan, you and your brother have been awesome, especially getting started here, learning the system. So we wouldn't have been able to do it without, uh, you know, calling you guys out by name, but everybody here, a lot of that has been, uh, through the mentor, you know, being able to mentor people and, if people didn't trust me to help them out, then wouldn't be here. Wouldn't be anywhere close to it. So big thanks all around. It's a big team effort. That's great. Any uh, little tips or tricks, how you getting referrals, how you're, how you're closing some deals and selling so many batteries? 
Uh, yeah. So, um, the batteries sell themselves. Once somebody knows somebody with batteries, then all their friends get them. Um, especially here, our grid is so unreliable. Um, you know, the, the utilities are selling it for me. Um, you know, I, I, down further in that write up, they mentioned something where every time the power goes out, I just get bombarded with texts. Uh, hey, th thanks for uh, really power, but you know, they didn't even realize the power was out if they didn't get a notification on their phone. Gotcha. I think my internet's a little unstable here. Can you still I could take those five sentences Mike just said and like, you're gonna have to give me that recording. I mean, they were just <laughs> like, I mean, I, I literally, I was, batteries sell themselves. Every time the grid goes down, I get text messages thanking you for pushing it. I mean, that's just so awesome. I'm not surprised you're hitting those numbers with that kind of. I'll keep producing them. I'll keep getting them. We uh, <laughs> think we've got four battery systems being installed this week here, just in this neighborhood. Amazing. Nice. Well, that's great, Mike. Glad to have you on the team. Another Florida amazing mentor here in power. So great to have you and congrats to you and Brian's success. Can't wait to see this year is going to shape out for you guys. Oh, yeah. That number is going to look small this year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. One quick announcement. And uh, that's a perfect tee up to the next speaker. But thank you, gentlemen. So future trainings real quick, guys. Uh, last week, we had the convention recap. You can go to powerconvention.com slash recap. Our next speaker was actually on stage at convention. And then we yesterday on JC's training, he has a 10 a.m. Pacific training. We trained on solo proposal and adders, which is on my YouTube. That's a great, great training. If you haven't seen it, it's uh, not fun information, but it's necessary information. Today, we're going to have Enphase training us on some of the new products and the battery solutions and try to be like Mike and be very successful. This Thursday, if you're new, there's always new consultant onboarding. Every Monday, if you're a mentor, there's a required 12 p.m. Pacific mentor call. Next Tuesday on this weekly training, we have Sonova training us. Then on Wednesday next week, there's virtual site surveys. That's amazing. I mean, Owen just had a 24 hour design done and M1 payment in 48 hours, right? I mean, two, two of them actually. Yeah, so tell us about that real quick. You downloaded the app, you drove to the house one night, you took the pictures and within 24 hours, you had st emails already? Yeah, we had a little issue with the conflict of a uh, site survey. Uh, the homeowner came home early and unfortunately the, the site server couldn't make it. So I went to their house. This is the 10th job I've done in that development. Um, so I, everything's new. Uh, so I just went there with the ladder and got in the attic and took all the photos and it really guides you on what you need to do. And it's really simple. Uh, and then yes, 24 hours later, uh, is accepted. And then 24 hours later, uh, design was already, uh, ready. So really cool. Got, and you got paid M1 already. Yeah. <clears throat> wow. Kick ass. Uh, I know another mentor leader on the team, Janice told her customer, if you want this to move way faster, download the app and take pictures. So we definitely have to embrace the virtual site survey. And next Wednesday is going to be some great training on that on power.live. And then next uh, week after that, we'll have onboarding specialist, Paul Rossano. We have a freedom tour right now, events across the country for basically the next six months. And we have a power world in person, July 15th and 16th. And just lastly, before we hand it off here, I will be in Texas, February 5th, Saturday, uh, February 10th, Thursday yeah! evening. Let's go, Eric. <laughs> Charles Thompson, myself, Eric Garcia, the Texas team, Anthony Blackshear, Larson, LB Suba, all of them will be down there. And then February 12th as well. So these are events that you can invite into, you could build into, you can run ads in those areas and attract people there. You could create social media events and try to attract people there and build your business. Uh, so Power does this across the country. They're training people and building business for you. And you can stay home if you'd like and work on your business. So great, great events here. 
And with that said, thank you, Jared, for kicking us off. Brian, Mike, the whole team here, we've gone a little bit beyond our normal time, uh, but we're gonna go ahead and hand this over to our favorite inverter company, Mike Patterson and the team's favorite battery company. And Spencer's gonna teach us about some new products and batteries, tips and tricks. Uh, so Spencer, always great to have you here on the team. I appreciate you being here. Rockton, hang on here. Let me make sure I have all my... Can you hear me? Yes, sir, and we can see yeah. your screen. Okay, great. Um, cool, well look, Jonathan, Garrett, uh, thanks for having me today. I always get so inspired in front of your group. Um, yeah, there's just nuggets here and there, like, wow, that's cool. Uh, digital site surveys, that's amazing. Wow, new home construction, that's amazing. Wow, look at how Mike is just rocking it in his community. It's just it's super inspiring. So um, again, grateful to be here today. Um, appreciate everyone's time. So I'm gonna really focus on what I think is gonna be the most valuable for you guys to continue to grow your businesses uh, in partnership with Enphase Technology. So um, can you guys see my screen? Okay, great. Um, so I want to do some housekeeping stuff first. And um, to start, I just want to see, is there anybody who does not have an Enphase ID, an Enphase login? Raise your hand if you do not have an Enphase login. Okay, great. Um, so what I'm going to do here, guys, I'm going to, in the chat, put the link. Um so I'm putting this link in the chat. It's basically just a form, a Google form that was created by sales, pre-sales. And if you don't already have an Enphase login, the login could be used for Enphase University. It can also be used for the Enphase Marketing Library, which I'll show you in a second. You just fill this out, email, name, phone, and uh, Power has an administrator that'll go in and create a login for you. You'll get an invite, and then you can use that login and password to access some Enphase resources. So what are those Enphase resources? Well, the first one, if you are at Evolution, is um, our digital asset library, right? And this is pretty exciting. You know, we don't have some shabby um, marketing team here. We now have like basically like legacy from Apple here at Enphase, supporting with marketing, messaging, um, branding, and so all those tools we recognize. Sure, it's valuable for Enphase to aka look good when we market, but it's way more valuable for us to empower the community of people out there helping us, homeowners go solar. So we're pushing all this content, all these tools to you guys. What does that look like? Well, it looks like sales sheets. It looks like, you know, beautiful product photos that you can use for social. Um, I was on another power mentor call and he showed me a really cool post that he had that was about IQ8 and he just basically copied all the text we have on the homepage now the end phase messaging playbook. Um, this is basically like plug and play, copy and paste, awesome messaging, very kind of, I just say it's, it's fresh, it's fun, it gets people engaged. Not only do we have the messaging playbook, we also have our social media content. So you can literally take and steal from us, keep your homes power flowing with IQ battery, you know, stuff like that. Literally take that stuff, put it on social and, and help add fire to the business that you guys are building. Um, so this library is super valuable. We have videos, people are posting videos, beautifully produced videos, um, you know, stuff that you can download and use. Um, this was one of my favorites. I think I showed it before. Did I show, I show you guys the sun shape? You guys seen that? Yeah, it's like hot, right? So you got tons of cool videos, product videos. You can use this stuff to important to share is our university same login so you just use the same login uh, i'm going to put let me just make sure i put this in there's the library thank you and an end phase university link is right here uh so oh, hold on here for a second and phase here we go it's like an administrative thing so once i log in you see something kind of like this. The easiest way to navigate it is just click on course catalog. And if you click on course catalog, I would recommend just type in IQ8 here, search, 
and there'll be a few trainings that'll come up. I highly recommend this here, uh, sales training, 55 minutes, right? So sure, it's valuable that you're working directly with me and I'm going to kind of go through what's specific to power, but getting another perspective from end phase, continuing to learn and grow in terms of IQ8s, their function, their benefits, um, this is only going to support you. So highly recommend uh, completing the uh, sales training for IQ8s. You know, if you want to go deeper, you can go into the system and technology. If you want to go super deep, you can talk about like, look at what the installers see. You can dive into the products. There's a lot of great tools and training on here. If you want to continue to grow your knowledge and understanding of Enphase technology. Okay, good. So that was a few housekeeping things. The other thing I want to share is, you know, whenever I launch new products, there's just tons of questions. Uh, you guys got a huge community and you're up to big things. So I've created um, weekly office hours for you guys. It's actually today. So it's Tuesday at two end phase office hours. It should be in the calendar, uh, in the power calendar. Here's the link, right? So if you want to just jump on, it's not so much of a training. It's more of a Q&A and a practical um, work through scenarios with people. So people bring, hey, I got this project. How would I design this? What do you think the right size system is for that? You know, I've gotten a lot of requests for math. I'm not bringing any nerdy math on today's call, but some people like to be able to do that math um, and do sizing math. And I can kind of take a little bit of time to go deeper with people on that. Um, so Jonathan, uh, bam, I love that comment. Okay, cool. So um, uh, I think that's the housekeeping stuff I wanted to go over with you guys. Let's talk about the IQ8. Um, so Enphase University, we talked about that. The Oh, sorry, there's one more housekeeping thing that's super useful. So our app's kind of a big deal, right? It's the only place a homeowner really experiences their system. And we also launched on our website um, a cool homeowner app video. We showed this at Evolution, but we moved very quickly. So I don't, don't want... Um, uh, you guys to miss it. If you just go on our website and you click homeowners, uh, the first button right here. Oh, that's weird. Huh? They just changed the website. Hang on. That's about the weirdest thing I've ever seen. End phase 101, find and install our business owners. Let me just, I'll have to search it another way. Literally, they used to have IQ app right there, or end phase app. Let me just see if it's right here. It used to be right on the home page. Let me make sure they have it. Okay. Um, well, they had it on the home homepage and I loved it, but you know, we're updating our web page all the time. So I guess you're gonna have to go back into library, that end phase, um, and you can go to these videos and we have um, end phase app videos, one, two, three, four, five. Five short little two minute videos I would definitely watch these if I were you. I think the total length of them is nine minutes. More importantly, they're really valuable for what I call book ending a storage deal. On the front end, when they're trying to decide if they don't close right away and they're like, you know, I want to learn more, do some more research, super valuable to, to them to drip content. You know, a day later, hey, I just want to make sure you've seen the app. Check out this really cool video. Hey, I just want to make sure you know, uh, you've seen this new awesome video about the technology or, you know, whatever else you want to send. So to get them kind of comfortable with how it works, if they have technical questions on how do I, you know, control my battery settings, these videos will walk them through that in a really simple, clean, professional way. When I say book end, right, we got the end of the project. Once something's installed, Mike, I would absolutely queue these up in an email. When somebody gets their system, you send it out. You know, it helps with uh, training. It helps with customer support. Um, it helps them understand the basic function of how their app works. So very, very through. Um, oh yeah, one more. I said, I said, no, one, I said that was it. There's one more. Um, we do have also a um, demo app too that you can use. I'll put that in the app uh, in the link too. And light it. So if you go here, do, 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 do. binder, 
Bill asked me, what is Binder? Binder is the tool that we use for Enfrid's library, right? So that's the tool that we use to um, kind of share that content with you guys. Okay, so the app, da, 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 super easy to find. You just go to this link I just sent in, just click this, experience app. And I don't know one sales guy that would walk in to just give the customer the phone and just say, hey, look, go in here. This is always being updated. So important to um, you know reference it. Now you can actually go on here and even do things like, um, you know, play with loads and, and do, you know, play with settings that before you couldn't even play with. So there's some cool enhancements to this that'll continue to happen. Okay. Last, that was the last housekeeping thing, I promise. So we launched the IQ8 app power. That was super fun. That was like a childhood dream to like play Superman while launching and phase IQ8. Solar company in the country, super, super fun. I was like, you know, just loving life. Uh, I love being in that kind of exciting environment where I can share something meaningful with a lot of people and have a big impact. Um, just to kind of review the main standouts of the IQ8 microinverter, it's amazing because it's super intelligent. It's very, very fast. When you go off grid, you don't have this big kind of buffer of the grid to provide as much power as needed and to dump any extra power you have. You lose that kind of well of power, right? Which is the utility grid. So in that environment, you have a much smaller, what we call microgrid. You just have the house, right? You have the house, the solar, maybe batteries. And in that scenario, things happen very quickly, right? When you have the whole grid, you kind of got an extra amount of buffer to absorb any changes in the loads, right? Any changes in the appliances that are used. But when you have this microgrid, you know, an air conditioning coming on is like a significant change to the system. So the IQH just work incredibly well in that off-grid environment because they can react so quickly to the needs of the home. They can ramp up or down. They can control their output depending on demand and know, right? The analogy I use on the IQ8 is that you know, microinverters are super well positioned to dominate the off-grid market because they're so responsive. It's going 300 miles an hour. That's like a central inverter. Yes, a Lamborghini is amazing, right? It's got great brakes. It can slow down quickly, but which is faster at getting down from 300 to zero or 30 Priuses that are going 10 miles an hour? You can stop those 30 Priuses very quickly. You can ramp them up really quickly, right? When it's the additive of like the, all those inverters together, they can do amazing things faster than one big central inverter can do. So the IQ8s have this super fast computer that can operate at, you know, kind of breakneck speed, so to speak. And they're the first product that's like the size of your hand that can actually create your own grid. So think about a single device that's so powerful that it can create a electricity grid that can that things can plug into. There's never been something like this uh, in the market before, and um, you know I'm excited personally to see where this goes international. You know, huge, where people are just getting you know two solar panels, you know two microinverters, you know, and they get basically unlimited power in the daytime, uh, you know, with battery options as well. So, you know, that's a little techie. Jonathan said, look, don't get too techie today. So that's about as techie as I'm gonna get. At. Um, but I wanna talk about the two major things that this opens up, right? The two major possibilities this is open, opens up for customers are one, they can run their house during the day with IQ8s with no batteries during a blackout. No grid, no batteries, just IQ8s, and they can run their home. Now that's not, the optimal solution for their experience, right? We actually talked about it during um, evolution and I believe, believe the same thing that um, JB believes, which is going with a three really can enhance the experience, right? IQ8's on the roof and a three is like a incredible starter system, but this shows the power of the technology. The second major thing this opens up is that when you combine IQ8's with storage, you get full power from the roof. No other technology can do this. Tesla can't do it. Generac can't do it. LG can't. Solar Edge. All of them have limitations on the size of the solar system based on the size of their battery array. We can put 
15 kW on a three kWh battery, a tiny battery, and we can get up to 15 kWh, I'm sorry, 15 kW during the day when the sun is shining. So this separates the nighttime need for power from the daytime need and creates a lot more flexibility for a homeowner who may want all of their power during the daytime, but doesn't want to invest in a huge storage system, right? So anybody that goes with end phase storage today with IQ8s is getting an amazing system. That's just all there is to it. They're getting full power from their roof. Right. And that's a big breakthrough in the industry. I showed some cool slides that um, I put together. I'm not going to do this housekeeping thing right now, but I showed some cool slides of power. I'll kind of skip ahead to them real quick. I thought they were like, you know, inspirational based on, um, you know, the stuff that uh, Allison, our CMO, had done at Apple. It's like, this is not some, give me a second to pull this up. This is not some incremental, um, Two, two, two. It's not some incremental improvement. This isn't like storage getting a little bit better, like 10% better or 20% better. Um, I have this really cool marketing newsletter I read and they talk about the difference between selling improvements and selling opportunities, right? A new opportunity. The difference between, hey, get a little bit better compared to this is a whole new opportunity, right? New opportunities are groundbreaking. They sell People don't want to have to reference the past when they want to step into something new because the past is kind of like, well, I've already dealt with that. This is about a whole new breakthrough, right? So this isn't, like I said, 10, 20%. This is up to 800% more power during the daytime. You take the lid off what's possible when it comes to the ratio of solar to batteries. And that's the big breakthrough of the IQ8, in my opinion. It makes battery systems work better. It makes them more flexible in terms of what you can design. Um, it gives the homeowner more power. And ultimately that's what a homeowner wants. They want to be able to access right all the power that's on their roof. Okay, cool. I skipped ahead. I'm going to go back to where I was. I want to open up this slide and I want to stop for questions here um, about the configurations, because I think this is one of the most important things to focus on and talk about. Um, do you guys have any questions about these configurations. Is there anything you want me to focus on? I wanna make sure I also have the chat in front of me so I don't miss any um, key questions as we go. I was gonna ask Spencer, the, the IQ8s with the pass-through sunshine, sunlight backup, um, in solo we have IQ8M and IQ8 Plus. So it, which one has the sunlight backup or is that just an extra adder that we have to click in the, in the menu? Great question. So. The way I look at it is um, just like the iPhone, you have you know iPhone 11, iPhone 12, and iPhone 13. Each of those numbers is a series, right? When you have iPhone 11, you can get 11 plus, you can get the 11 mic mini, right? So when you say IQ8M, IQ8 plus, or IQ8A, those are all part of the IQ8 family. So they're all gonna operate the same in terms of what they do, um, they're just going to be matched up to different panels. So thanks for bringing that up. This is in general, what you're going to want to bring when you're quoting IQ8s. You want to focus on, if you're selling a Hanwha 350 or an LG 380, you want to focus on selling the IQ8 plus. If you're selling a Canadian 390, Rec 400 or Mission 415, you're going to focus on the M. And then if you're selling an LG 440, that's where you're gonna to wanna to focus on the IQ8A. So the M or A is primarily gonna be designated based on what panel you're gonna choose. The um, adder is gonna designate what kind of backup situation you put, put give to the homeowner. That's gonna designate that. And I'm gonna, I'll go to the next page, which will make that more clear. I do wanna say one thing about the IQ8M. This is my favorite product right now um, because it does something really cool. And I tried to highlight it at Evolution, but it's, you know, it was a fast moving event. Every um, level up in terms of power for us is an increased price, right? So the A is more expensive than the plus. Um, the M is more expensive than the plus. The A is more expensive than the M, right? As you go into higher powers because the density and electronic density has to be, basically we have to use more expensive equipment to make the, make the microinverter 
operate at a higher power output. So um, why am I sharing all this with you? Well, the jump from plus to A is a pretty big jump. The jump from plus to M is not such a big jump. When you used the Canadian Solar 390, Rack 400, or Mission 415, before you really only had an option to go with this big A or maybe have a lot of clipping with this plus, right? So it was kind of not a great scenario. Either I need to spend a lot more on the A or I need to maybe go with the plus, which is a little light for these high output pa panels. The M is the sweet spot. It's a better price than the A, but it's more output than the plus. So you end up being able to sell eights, eight M's at least, for only a few bucks more than the 7A. It's a, it's a much smaller jump up in terms of product price. I think it's seven bucks more or something. It's very reasonable for each microinverter, right? You do 20, what's that, 140 maybe, 200 bucks. So that's why I highlight this M. It's a really, I think it's a really cool place to go. Now, usually, I mean, you're talking about 30, 40, $50,000 projects, you know, the, the three to 500 bucks for a different SKU is not that big of a game changer anyways. But if you're being really tactical and you're focused on what's the sweet spot, um, I would focus on this IQAM as a great op option for your customers. Okay, I wanna go back to Jonathan's question about configuration, because this is also super important. So, um, so we're clear, let me just make sure here I got, I can, okay, hang on. It's annoying because when I try to write on the screen, it um, is really hard to see the cursor. Okay, I can see it now, I think. Pen. Okay. So I'm going to draw a line right here. Everything to the right of this line provides backup. I'll say that again. Everything, all the configurations that we're going to talk about to the right of that line include a form of backup power. If they want backup when the grid goes down, everything to the right of that line will do that. To the left of that line, the solar only configuration will not provide backup, even during the daytime. And it's super important you make this super clear to the homeowner um, because you can sell IQ8s in what's called a future-proof configuration, right? You can sell it in a, in a configuration where it's just there to provide the technology. So if they ever want to add batteries or they ever want to add sunlight backup, they can do that in the future and have the best in class technology on the roof. I think this is going to catch on pretty quickly because I coach people to sell as you would buy, right? I would always have somebody, um, you know, kind of, I would recommend exactly what I would do. And Given what I know about solar technology, if I'm spending 20, 25, 30,000, 40,000 dollars on a system, given that the IQ8s are only about seven to 10 maybe dollars more per micro, am I going to spend an extra two or three or four or even five, six hundred dollars to get the best technology? So one to two percent more on my roof. I would do that every day of the week if it was my house. I wouldn't even think twice about it. It's two percent more of the total project cost. And it's a computer that's a thousand times faster than the IQ7. That would be enough for me. And I coach people to, you know, do what I would do for my own home. So you got to make that assessment for yourself to ask yourself that question, see what you would do. And then I, I recommend doing that, you know. So in the solar only configuration, they are not getting backup though. And so I usually like to write in here the cost for the homeowner for this, and I'm sorry for my chicken scratching, it's really hard to write on the screen with um, a mouse. This ends up being like about 500 bucks, right, to go solar only, but there's no backup. The next bump up here is sunlight backup. And sunlight backup, you're only gonna support about four circuits. It's gonna be essentials. It's gonna be fridge, lights, internet, TV, the basics, right? And sunlight backup is going to probably cost, it's a big step up because you're getting, you're getting the system controller. You're basically wiring the house for backup. You're getting a load control solution. 
the hardware itself probably costs three, four thousand dollars for all this hardware, right? And then you got to do labor to do all the backup configuration, profit and overhead. This ends up costing about eight thousand dollars. It's going to write like this as an adder. Now I don't think we're going to get you know, 80% adoption of this $8,000 adder. I think it's going to be more like maybe 20% of people are going to want to get some kind of, you know, daytime backup. Maybe a little less, maybe a little more. We'll see. We'll see how the market plays out. Why Jonathan um, Bud was so excited about this option is because this one, the essentials, which is basically sunlight backup with a three is only about 10K. So now you now have the most cost-effective battery backup solution in the industry with IQ8s on the roof, providing full power during the daytime. And this is a really cool place to start a proposal, in my opinion. This is a great start. You know, people start in different places. I always recommend starting in a place where you can go up or down, right? If you start with the sevens and no backup, right? You got no place to go except more expensive. If you start with a you know, uh, IQH with a three, you know, if, if they need to get more competitive, right. Or you need to get more competitive and the price needs to drop down, then boom, you're going to be, you're going to have a lot of headroom to take out the sunlight backup to go all the way down to the seven. If you need to, right. You can still sell the value prop of the IQ eight that they're getting if you want. So that's where I would start. Right. And then you can go up if they say, no, no, no I really want a full backup solution or something like that you know, full energy independence is going to be anywhere from, you know, with a single battery, about $15,000, you know, all the way up to, we see a lot of three, four battery solutions, you know, where people are spending all the way up to these chicken scratchings. I have an iPad here. I know I can get it connected and it would be way better, but um, I'm going to have to work on that for my next training. So 15K, you know, up to, I don't know, 40, 40K, you know, plus for huge storage solutions. So why I love this solution and, and Jonathan Bud loves it too, is because if they've already gotten to here, this 8,000, it's, it's very, I mean, that's not a big jump, right? So for me, if they've already gotten to solar, it's not a big jump to go give them this, these IQ8s on the roof. And I think you can sell them. I think you can distinguish yourself from other proposals, just saying, hey, they gave you the last year technology. No, that's kind of a bummer, right? You know, I, I made sure you had the IQ8s. I really recommend that, you know. It's a super small lift financially, but it's a lot of benefit in terms of what they get on the roof. And then the next thing is, if you're going to do sunlight backup, man, I can get you an, uh, an, a 3 kWh battery, which will help during the daytime if a cloud comes overhead so you don't just lose power. And at nighttime, at least you'll be able to keep your internet on and run the TV and probably even your fridge for, you know, a good amount of hours. So that's my kind of perspective on how these configurations can help homeowners with a, a custom solution for them. Um, let me stop there with any questions or thoughts. Is that helpful? Is that, is that clear? I have a couple questions, Spencer. Yeah, go for it. So um, does, the, uh, does the essential uh back up at 10k does that actually will that power up an ac system or do we need two batteries for that still yeah so just so we're clear this is an essential with a um three kwh battery so very very small in terms of powering up batteries i'm sorry powering up things like air conditionings mm -hmm. so i would definitely not recommend an air conditioning on essentials i would say you can't put an air conditioning on essentials yeah. Now, the truth of the matter is, is it possible when the sun is at full sun that you would be able to turn on the air conditioning? It's possible, but you're really eking out a, a, a risky experience for the homeowner because, you know, I oh, gotcha. You don't want to pitch it that way. It might, yeah, it might you turn definitely on don't once want to, in a while, I, but I would no not, guarantee it'll run when they need it. Bat I would two batteries will get them going in Florida, which is what. My good buddy, Mike, is always selling two batteries at a time, sometimes three or four, but definitely two. Yeah. So. If they want to back up air conditioning, you, yeah. two batteries. It's just okay. the way to go. And, and then two batteries, what? Two, ba sorry, two batteries with IQ8s, they're going to be happy, happy campers. 
Spencer, right. though, just to clarify, when you say two batteries, are you talking about two 3.3s? No. Nope. Are you talking, talking about, about two 10 kWs? Two 10 kWs yeah. for air conditioning. And when we're talking one battery here, you are referencing just one 3.3. .3. Yeah, let's let's let me uh, make this point. Third of a battery. I, I'm talking about a three. This is really a three kW eight here, and this is a ten kW eight plus right another right. really good slide that i'll share that's super super useful and i can actually make sure i get it over to, to jay jonathan Brunasso to share with you guys is hang on here as i filter through this is this one right so you got a three you're looking at the basics right sunlight backup is basically going to be the same thing as a three here same kind of loads Right, uh, a ten. You're starting to add a lot more stuff there, right? Refri you know, more. You could still put a refrigerator on a three, technically. Microwave, fans, internet. But if you want to go whole home backup, air conditionings, well pump, it really is best to go with an IQ battery twenty, right? Which is two tens. Now, could you possibly get a ten and do some load control where they can just turn on their air conditioning during the daytime? With the big solar system, you can do that. I mean, if somebody's really trying to get this solution that's partial and kind of works in certain scenarios, sure. But, you know, that's not what Mike's selling and having him be so successful. He's selling peace of mind. He's selling freedom. He's selling energy security. He's selling a system that he is going to get that text from when the grid goes down. He's not going to get the text, hey, why isn't this working to the daytime? He's going to get the text. Thank you. I love my system. Thank you for yeah. pushing this because this was really the right thing for me to do. So, you know, I understand there's always cost pressures, but if you can advocate for your customer and have, an, and really, you know, do the work in terms of sales discovery of, of what this will provide for them in terms of a benefit to their life and the quality of their life. And then you can advocate for that better solution for them. They're going to be happy. They really will. Spencer, real nice. quick, is there any way we can reach out to our installers and get them a little bit better trained up on a lot of this stuff, especially the load controls? Yeah. A lot of them working, don't even know it exists. Yeah, we're working on that. Part of the issue with load control is that Enphase actually released it with no product, meaning load control is a product that you can grab off the shelf and, and build your own kind of thing. And it was a little bit... Um, haphazard in terms of the way an installer would have to put that together. Some have figured it out a little bit, but it's still, there's still a lot more work to do. The good news, Mike, is that we're releasing our first load control product um, like this quarter. It's actually a box that can control, control loop two loads. And then we're in, in, uh, introducing another one right after that can, that can control two larger loads. And then later this year, we're gonna introduce a full load control solution that can control up to 12 loads. Um, that with the eights here would be a game changer. The plan. Run pools during the day, shut them off at night kind of thing yep. automatically. Hey, yep. hey Spencer, um, if I could chime in here, and I think it's just for me as a kid buying first generation tech, um, maybe for my peace of mind, maybe you can run us through the, some of the testing you did on the IQAs to ensure that uh, this first generation is going to be uh, successful. Sorry, I, you cut out for a second there. So I'm just know. wondering, I'm usually not a first generation guy because this would be the, we're, we're kicking off the IQ8s and I'm always a little skeptical of, you know, I know it's new tech and it's great, but I'm always skeptical of maybe the first generation of folks are going to be test dummies. Uh, maybe you can run us through the testing to ensure that this tech is stamp proof. Yeah, that's a good question. Um, well, on batteries, uh, the batteries that we're selling in the market are now actually our fourth generation of batteries. So we had two uh, timer use batteries um, back in 2000, I think 15, 16, that kind of range. And then we released um, the N charge in 2019. And then um, we've now have the uh, N charge T, um, which is the next kind of iteration. So that's our fourth generation battery technology. In terms of the IQ8s, I mean, that's, it's our eighth generation solar inverter technology. Um, 
And so it's built on the IQ7 platform. And it goes through all the same rigorous testing that the IQ7. I mean, I have a whole training on IQ7 reliability. There's no change there. It's even, you know, it's, it's if not better. We have, we, we uh, torture our products. We, we put them in these um, temperature changer, cha chambers and basically crank up the heat and then freeze them and crank up the heat and freeze them and crank up the heat and freeze them over and over while they're under power for months at a time, right? Like stress them out as hard as they can be stressed out. If something breaks, we send it back to the engineering department, show them what broke, why it broke. They try to figure out a different component they retest. I think we have a million hours of power on testing for our IQ8 release. Hopefully that, that gives you some peace of mind. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. I can go once more. I've got another one. Yeah. So I just put some beautiful IQ and phase sevens on my roof. They're right up there. Congratulations. And uh, yeah, thanks. Exciting. So uh, what do we say to clients that uh, just got sevens and have heard about the eights? Would there be any reason ever to uh, change those out? Yeah. So, I mean, we talked about, let me ask the community here because, because this is, um, I want to kind of do almost the training check. What are the main benefits of the IQ8s? Can anybody kind of technically, right? You could say, yeah, it's sexy that it's a thousand times faster, but what are the main benefits? Like what, what applications do the IQ8s enable? The capability of sunshine backup is the main one, I think. Yep. And then that's the first, that's the main one. And the second one is you get more, you, you have more freedom and flexibility to get a bigger solar system on a smaller battery right and get the solar power how big is your solar system mine how many how many micros or panels uh, i've got 31 it's 11.65 yeah you have 31 so basically as long as you get a big enough battery to support those you're golden yeah you'll be, you'll be 100 percent as functional or 99 percent as functional as iq8s with a small battery because iq8s are in in the batteries yeah right and when you when you add IQ8s to an IQ7 system, I kind of say the IQ8s trick the IQ7s to operate kind of like IQ8s because they have this buffer and they can move very quickly and respond to um, the needs of a home. So as long as you get, I mean, if you got a N-Charge 20 system, it would operate 100% like uh, in your experience, like IQ8s, as far as I know, you know. Okay. So, so that's, the, that's the key. Basically, it's just you, your system wouldn't work very well with an IQ battery three. That's the truth. Right. Yeah. Gotcha. You don't, you'd only get six solar panels on during the daytime, not all 30. So you right. need like 10 or 20 KWH. And if you got that kind of robust battery system, which would also provide the benefit of TOU, nighttime operation, um, you know, all of those during a blackout, all of those benefits, then you'd get the full benefits of kind of an end phase energy system. Yeah. Well, we're going to have to back, back into the uh, battery system on my house, unfortunately. My uh, my salesman wasn't good enough to sell it to my wife. I'm gonna keep it moving here. Is Bill? Did you have a question? If Bill had a question or Cynthia, feel free. We have one um, question if they don't. Going backward a little bit, uh, um, Spencer, between the IQ seven A and the IQ seven plus, when is there a certain amount of wattage where you would use with you when you're using the you know the canadian or the rec 400s or the mission 415s where you would prefer to go with either the 7 plus or the 7a what what makes it that choice to get more energy efficiency yeah it's 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 more about power right so this product has um the IQ7 Plus has an AC output of almost 300 watts. Okay. The IQ7A has an AC output of 370 watts. Gotcha. Okay. So and panels, don't, pan, panels don't produce their nameplates. Like you, an LG300 produces closer to 300. Okay. I'm sorry, an LG380 actually produces closer to three. 300 in the real world. So you're, you're pushing uh, the maximum output of the microinverter. Um, and that's why that M is kind of a nice sweet spot to do that uh, on the eight series. 
but you can always upgrade to the 7a it's just going to give um, the customer um, a little bit more power and a little bit um, and a little bit more cost what i would encourage if you want is i can sell send over we have a chart it's a table it can show all the panels all the micros and you can literally see in different areas based on each panel size what's the expected efficiency loss so to speak for each okay. of those i know we're about time um and then if you went to the yep. am what's the ac output of the of the iq it's about 330 340 so it's kind of a nice okay it's a three, I think it's 330. So that's a nice sweet spot. It gives you about, it, it covers those, you know, low 400s really well, right? In terms of being a perfect match. When you, the, the way I talk about this is, is DC to AC ratio. So panel is DC, micro is AC, right? So you just take the panel number and you divide it by the micro number. And you get a ratio. So if I took a 380 LG and divided it by 295 IQ7 plus, I get 1.28. And usually between about 1.2 and 1.3 is the ideal ratio. Um, I've so. never, just to say, I've never done any of this in my seven years. So this is like, I don't even understand a fraction of this, people. So. <laughs> I would keep it to seven pluses. Normally it prevents a little bit of electrical upgrades. If you want less clipping, it's A's. And uh, yeah. th that's my easy answer. So okay. yeah, he, he asked me to keep uh, it simple. Sorry, Jonathan, that no one went, went a little off the, and into the, into the uh, textbooks. I'll hit you up about the, uh, the LG uh, mounted AC panels in the, in your, uh, uh, office hours today at two. Yeah, we, we can okay. talk about those offline. Okay. Anyways, I know we're at time. Um, mm -hmm. Hopefully 97% of what we went over today, besides those DC to AC ratio was super valuable for you guys. Jonathan tried to, he, he said, you know, he said six times on the call, he said, keep it simple, keep it simple. Sorry, got away, <laughs> got away from me at the end there, Jonathan. But hopefully the rest of the training was, was pretty uh, My bad. Um, simple and, and just relevant to what matters to you guys. Any other final questions before you guys wrap? I'll do one more from Tammy. And I have a last minute announcement, some contests. And then I'm not sure if you're able to hang on for a few minutes more, but uh, let's do one more from yeah. Tammy. Yeah, no problem. Uh, oh, thank you, Jonathan. I was just typing it in the chat. I just asking Spencer, because sometimes we can snag him for, for a good challenge. I'm working on one in one of the most, most difficult utilities in the country and we have high demand charges and uh, we do not have annual true up. So this IQ8 could really be a helpful with that. And is that, in Arizona, is that in Arizona? Yeah, it's SLP. Mm -hmm. It's in Arizona, so, yeah. Um, yeah. We actually just released or are in the process of releasing a special demand mode. And the demand mode can save extra energy in those areas. Um, what it does is it it's not gonna work <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's not going to, you're still going to need batteries because what demand does is it basically, you know, it says if you use a lot of energy really quickly um, at a high level, then we're going to charge you for that. Mm -hmm. So what batteries can do is batteries basically hold that energy in it. And, sure. and instead of you using it from the grid, it says, oh, pull some from the batteries. Mm -hmm. take it from the battery don't take it from the grid i don't want to hit those demand charges creates kind of a threshold right a level that it won't let the grid charge go above and so we do have that it's a it's a special setting in the app where they can say get me on the best savings in a demand territory so we do have that in the app um hopefully that helps <laughs> good news thank you yeah no problem all right, Spencer, I'm just going to recap real quick, a last minute announcement or two, and then we'll end the recording. And if you're still here, we'll do one or two more questions. Great. Um, I'll stop screen sharing. Thank you so much. And I, I just want to recap real quick, and then we'll, we may go 10, 15 minutes over. Uh, so what, what I heard really is Enphase kicks ass. They're the number one company. They have an amazing app. They have 25 year warranty out of the box. Uh, they have the lower failure rate. Their battery uses this fancy LFP technology, not cobalt like the LG and Tesla. 
So you get the most amazing inverter brand with the most amazing battery. And then if you're selling a 350 watt panel, you can use the IQ8 plus. If you're selling 400 watts, the M is amazing. And if you're above 440 watts, you could use the A, very simply. There's probably a five to three cent price per watt difference between those three. So choose accordingly. And the IQ8s are awesome because they have the backup option. So if you want the sunlight in California, it's about 7,600. If you want the three kilowatt, it's about 9,500. And if you want a 10 kilowatt battery, it's about 15 grand. And there is some margin inside of those. So that is my recap in a few minutes for you. And uh, I, I keep it simple, you know, it, I know enough to be dangerous and that's almost the extent of my knowledge right there. And I sell it and I sell all that engineering and design figure it out. Um, but this is why it's amazing and you need to buy it. So two last announcements here. I just really want to let everyone know we have a contest with Goodly quarter one, three months till the end of March, top sales with good leap loans. There will be a VIP retreat. They're gonna fly a few people up to the lovely Sacramento. Don't ask me why. The nicest hotel there, uh, dinners. You get to know Dustin from good leap. He's amazing. So that is a contest that's going on. Something near and dear to my heart. There's a contest, work hard, play hard. We get to go to Mexico, build a house here that we donate, donate the solar, and then we get to stay in a wine resort via the Guadalupe, wine and dine. There gets to be uh, 25 to 30 people that get to go to this. So 25 sellers and five newbies, literally 30 of you could go to Mexico, build a home, wine and dine in a wine resort, and then you get to hang out with five executives, Jonathan Budd, Charles Thompson, Bobby Smith, hopefully myself. It's gonna be amazing. I truly want all of you to try to get to this Mexico trip. It'll hopefully be sometime in late April. 30 people get to win. Um, and the number one way to get points is to be the consultant or the mentee, to enter the lead. Anyone that enters a lead that gets sold, you get 15 points. Doesn't matter if there's a mentor or not, it's 15 points. So if you want to go on this amazing trip, put a few deals in, literally 30 people get to go. So we're going to be hounding this. We're going to be sharing the winners, the points as we move along. And this is till the end of March. We heard about the virtual site surveys earlier. This is really going to change our business and speed things up. Uh, so please embrace that and attend the training next Wednesday. We will start to see power enterprise training. We can onboard a dealer, a solar company, an enterprise solution, someone that has a team. And the monthly fees are a little bit higher versus our $49 membership. So training to come in the next week or two, uh, this will be a game changer and allow power to 10X their business. So super exciting there. We do have a incentive till the end of March. We can give 12 months, no payments, 18 months, no payments, or 36 months, no payments with flex pay on the 18 and 36. Otherwise you can offer a 12 month incentive now to the end of March. And then just the last announcement here, net metering 3.0. Uh, for the meantime in California, it has been delayed a little bit. There was a January 28th decision date that was pushed off until hopefully the end of February. There is still a looming May 28th date. If your system's not installed or your interconnection is not applied for by that time, you, your customers in California could have a worse net metering incentive program. So make sure to tell everyone we're not promising anything. We're not putting anything in writing. We'll push as fast as we can, but there's definitely net metering 3.0 is eventually coming. So let's make sure to get ahead of that. 
All right, that's all we have for now. I wanna just say a huge thank you again to Spencer from Enphase, always supporting this team with the best inverters, the best batteries, the best solutions. Um, honestly, it's a differentiator with the product offering that we have. So we super appreciate you jumping on here, Spencer. We're gonna end this recording and do a little last minute Q and A.